Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Donnie Sports Cards back with another video. Um, as many of you guys know, the Burbank Card Show is starts today, actually, which for me, it's going to be tomorrow. So I'm going on Friday uh, with my buddy. Um, there's going to be, we'll talk about what I'm going to look to pick up. Um, there's quite a few things on the list. So I'm pro I, obviously, I'm not going to get it all, but there's some things that I'm looking for. Um, what I'm going to bring to trade and sell. I'm not gonna go over it all, but just some examples. Um, and then I'm also gonna try and start a new series, which I'll talk about here in a sec. So, and then I'm also gonna drop off a PSA order. So yeah, so it's gonna be a busy day on, on Friday, um, which is tomorrow. So you guys will be seeing this uh, Thursday evening or you know Friday, Friday morning or something like that. So um, let's talk about the cards I'm targeting. Um, the main card that I'm looking for is a Mookie Betts. It's going to be a first Bowman Chrome Parallel or Auto. Um, probably at a PSA 9, the 10s are going to be a little bit too out of my price range, and I'm not going to go for go for the base. Um, I think the bases are really liquid, but I just, I'd just i rather go for a collection piece. So looking for maybe if I can get the refractor out on a 9 um, at a reasonable price that I'm going to trade for, I'm obviously I'm not just going to... If I have to sell cards to get cash to do it, maybe. But um, also, would, I would look for his uh, 2014 Stadium Club Auto, um, Rookie Auto, or Topps Chrome Parallel um, as well. So um, those are going to be pretty hefty. It's kind of the main card I want to target that's not, you know, that's more mainstream. Um, after that, it'd be Freddie Freeman. I'd probably look at his, like, first Bowman, which his is a little confusing. I think it's... The one you're looking for is 2009, but it may not have the first Bowman logo. Um, I don't know. I've been doing some research, uh, so I may pass on that. I might actually go for his Topps Chrome Rookie Auto or his Diamond Anniversary uh, Rookie, which in a nine is not really going to set you back. It's like 125 to 150 bucks, but um, look for that. Maybe trade for that. Um, and then on top of that, I'm going to look for image variations of players that I like. So either Topps. SSPs, um, just really cool images or stadium club image variations. Uh, the one stadium club image variation uh, from last year that I still really, really want is the Albert Pujols where he's holding the, the fire bat. Um, yeah, that one, obviously grades are tough on those, but if I even get that an eight, I'd be happy or raw. Um, so it's probably, I think that runs about like 150-ish um, price range. And then other things I'm looking for too, uh, Ichiro or Pujols, Topps Chrome Gold Refractors, um, or the 2008 Topps Chrome Parallels. I'm going to try and put together the rainbow for them as well. So if I could find cool 2008 Topps Chrome Parallels of Pujols, Ichiro, and then if I could find 2008 Topps Chrome Refractors of Hall of Famers. Um, so I actually do have two of them. I'm going to try. I'm taking on quite a few sets that I'm trying to do. And 2008 is my favorite set. So Pujols and Ichiro, my favorite players. I'm going to try and do their rainbow for 2008. It's going to be really hard to do. I think the red refractor is going to be almost impossible to find. Um, Ichiro had one that was an autograph, and I didn't pull the trigger, which I should have. But I think it was listed for like 450 or 499 or something. And I didn't pull it. It was autographed, certified. Um, didn't do it. Uh See if I can maybe get that. Um, but I'm going to try to put together the X-Fractor set. doesn't have to be PSA 10, but I do have the Jeter in a PSA 10 and then just bought the Ichiro. So you guys will see that. Um, so I'm going to try and put together the Hall of Fame set, and that's going to be quite a few cards. So a lot of them raw are not very expensive, but if you get some in high grades, they start to get way more expensive as they're really low pop. Like I was watching some box breaks, and... I watched, I think, four or five box breaks. Not one extractor was pulled. Um, saw a red be pulled. So I wonder what the print run is on those on those extractors as well as the blues, which are not numbered. Um, the other thing I would look for is 2008 Topps Chrome or even the Top Series 1 or Series 2 Wax. Now, I know that's probably going to be hard to find, um, but I'll probably bring some wax myself. I got some Sapphire. 2023 Chrome Sapphire regular, not update boxes, as well as some uh, 2022 update boxes. Um, and then I think I have like a finest box of 2023 and some Bowman Chrome. 
which I think if Ethan Salas can keep playing well, I think it'll be okay. But, um, and then one other thing I'm looking for, as you guys know, on this channel, like I've been going for my, my roommates, it's a rainbow. And if I can find any of his rare stuff, I'm going for the rare stuff first. Cause I think it's going to be tougher to acquire. And then I can find the other stuff really cheap later. Um, but like, for example, here's his tops, Chrome gold refractor, Chris Murphy, uh, my roommate in college. So I'm, I'm going for his rainbow of both his 2024 series one, as well as tops Chrome. So that's going to be a big hill to climb. Um, if you guys do see the not auto super message me on Instagram, please. I'd love to, to go for it. Uh, yeah, and then I, th I was talking about a new series that I'm looking to start. Might take a while to get going, so bear with me on this one. Um, I'm trying to start the $20 card collection. Um, so I'll, I'm going to start episode one, I think, at the Burbank Card Show. Try and do my approach. Basically, the $20 card collection is going to be you start with 20 bucks, You buy and flip, buy and flip until you can buy some really cool cards for the collection. So... That's going to be my goal is to try and grow that over time. I know it's going to take a while, especially just doing part time. It's going to take a while to get, you know, growth financially for the collection. Um, the one thing that I will say is like the, how I'm going to attack it at the Burbank show is I'm going to try and go into quarter boxes, go quarter boxes and then try and get, you know, the top rookies, um, especially for baseball, like Gunner, Bobby Wood Jr., see if they have any rookies of those guys, because I know on whatnot those things will move. Um, and I, can, I can at least double my money if it's a quarter box. Um, I think that's going to be my approach. Hopefully it works out. I mean, 20 bucks is not going to get you very far to start off, so it might be a thing where I have to film multiple episodes to try and get the ball rolling before um, it actually starts uh, being posted on YouTube. Because if I don't want to post one video and then have, you know, a few weeks go by before I sell, like, before all the cars are able to sell and I have to post another video. And it's just going to take a while, especially if I'm not able to get out to shows quite a bit, um, quite as much. So I think the approach is going to be start at Burbank, get the film going, sell the cards on whatnot to try and move them ASAP, and then try and build those episodes up in a library and then kind of release them all weekly if possible. Um, I think that's going to be the best approach. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys would prefer. If it's, if it takes a while, like I know some people will lose interest. So, um, like I said too, like it's going to be tough to start. It's going to be really tough to start and it's going to take some patience to grow. I think the approach is going to go after, quarter boxes and get as many cards as I can that I think would be liquid enough on whatnot. Um, even if I sell for a buck, I'm going to at least double my money because you get like 58, 58 cents or whatever, every card that sells. So yeah, so that's, that's going to be the $20 card collection. Uh, I'm going to start episode one on Burbank. And then the next thing that I was talking about was the cards I'm going to bring to sell or trade um there's gonna be quite a few so here's one for example we got kirk cousins finest rookie refractor got the cc sabathia gold x fractor that's probably gonna be more for trade hopefully trade bait delgado blue x fractor um i know those are more niche cards got a 2007 finest refractor of pujols these are like impossible this is super low pop i want to say it's like under 10 um Devers Gold Chrome Rookie Mojo from his uh, 2018 Silver Pack. Gold X Fractor Jorge Posada. These are just some examples of what I got. I got I'm gonna have a whole case full of cards that uh, we're looking to sell. Glavin uh, Hall of Fame Panini Auto. I mean, I probably will lose money on this. I, it was 25 bucks plus the grading, so that's gonna be like 40 bucks. So 45 bucks. Pools. Fleer Tiffany out of 200 PSA 9, really low pop on this. Let's see if I can get you to see. It's 188 out of 200. Um, really low pop on that. Got a Dirk rookie uh, from Topps Chrome. Nothing crazy, super cheap. This one, I'm probably going to keep. Uh, Adley Topps Chrome Blue Auto PSA 9. Um, just because 
I don't know. I think I'd probably end up breaking even on it, and I just really like Adley. He's one of the guys I collect, as you guys know. And then I got some image variations here. So I got Corbin Bowman Chrome image variation, 9.5 SGC. Bryce Harper, rookie, all-star game image variation in his suit. Um, I wish they had the rookie logo on here, but image variation, PSA 9, rookie. Mike Trout uh, with Robinson Cano, all-star game image variation. And we got two Griffies horizontal, him laying out, making a catch, and then him on the camera. So there's just some examples of what I got. I also have some other raw cards that, that I'm going to bring and use as trade bait. A um, couple big cards, actually, but they're just not in this room right now. And then, um, and ju they just came in. So going to have to kind of process them and go through prices and stuff. Um, and then the last thing that I was talking about was a PSA order. Where did I put that? It's going to be right here. Um so for my cards, I'll let you know when I'm dropping off, but uh, my buddy's cards, I have them right here, but I'll just hold off and you guys can be surprised when I post that PSA reveal. Um, I haven't post, I haven't done a lot of PSA orders recently. I think the cost of grading has just been, you know, not too high. It's just the return you get when you grade cards is not as good as it used to be. And finding cards that are worth grading is a lot tougher. So... Cards that get nines in ultra modern, like super ultra modern, are selling for less than raw cards. Like the Chrome Adley Blue Auto, for example. Like I saw a sale for this card in a PA or in a raw sell for about thirty bucks more. So I think it sold for like two sixty, and this is a few months ago. And then I bought this right around the same time, and it was two twenty. I got it for 200 plus tax, which is in California, tax is pretty tough. So, but what I'm going to be grading, we got a Topps Chrome Gold Ichiro. This was a crack out. I'm actually a little bit worried it's not going to grade as well as it did. Number one out of 499. Uh, there's a little bit of a corner issue. Hoping that, you know, it, it uh, gets a nine. We got a one that I think will gem is 2000. 13 tops chrome black refractor pool holes number out of 100 i think that will gem um we got a mickey mantle this is what year is this 2011 tops this is like a gold refractor like retro refractor we got a couple of these that are going to be in the order of a 2013 ken griffey jr short print these are just an iconic image um i think i sold one of these raw like a few months ago for like 100 bucks i got three of them for 60 so got a steal on those hoping to at least get a nine on all of them there's three of them that you'll see clayton kershaw with matt kemp on the uh 2012 image variation all-star game got a Kowrukin jr 2013 image variation him signing autographs we've got a 2020 chrome pujols out of 150 this is the blue true blue 2012 All-Star Game, Chipper Jones. I think it's his last All-Star Game. Um, and, yeah, just a cool image, him hopping out of the taxi with the Chipper Jones on it. And then, like I said, there's more of these. Um, this one actually came out of the lot that I bought at my garage sale. This is the hollow. I know the lighting is not great coming from the other side, but this is the hollow of Juan Soto um, from 2018 Optic. I think I saw a recent sale was pretty high, um, much higher than the base. Another one of these. And then we got uh, 2020 Finest Careers Ichiro Gold out of 50. The uh, thing I'm worried about is the back corners, hopefully at nines um, at least. I'd be surprised if it gemmed, but I've seen crazier things gem. So I know PSA is more strict on the corners. This one I got to prep a little bit, but it's probably going. This is a 2013 uh tops pujols it's the out of bounds um out of bounds parallel or image variation my bad and then this one is interesting it's a tweet the 2008 tops chrome refractor um let's see if i can get some light on this because it's like really interesting i don't know if you guys, you guys can't see but there's 
kind of like some sort of like streaking going down but i think it's just like a print like it's just with the print is kind of how it is which is interesting i don't think you guys could even see it with the lighting so yeah there's like a little bit of like a line going down like his like right here um, it doesn't look like a normal print line, but it definitely looks like something on the surface. Like, not on the surface. Uh, it's hard to explain. Something with the surface. Like, almost like... I don't know. It almost looks like... I, I, I can't even explain it. So, uh, But those are the cards I'll be grading. Um, if I find more that are worth grading, I'll, I'll put them in there. And then when I do the PSA reveal, you guys will see them. So, um, that's pretty much going to be my prep for the Burbank show. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to the Burbank show and then what cards you guys are targeting. Um, if I see you there, if you come up, say hi. I know I, I, you guys may not recognize me. Um, I don't really show my face as much as I probably should on here. But, um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about my pickups. Let me know about the PSA, PSA order. And... I will see you guys next time. This is Donnie Sports Cards. Peace.